Marshmallow Peeps are one of my favorite Easter candies, but they're also really fun to do science experiments on. So today we're talking about how are these Marshmallow Peeps made and how can we get them to expand to three, four, maybe five times their original size. way to understand how peeps are made is to look at the ingredient statement. And what you would see here is corn syrup, sugar, gelatin, less than 0.5% of color, flavor, potassium sorbate, so that is a yeast and mold inhibitor. It makes it really difficult for these microorganisms to grow in our marshmallow peeps. And lastly, carnauba wax. So Carnauba wax is not found within sort of the actual marshmallow. It's just used to dot on the two eyes of the baby chick or of the bunnies, whatever shape you get. So if we go back to the first three ingredients, the three main ingredients, these make up the bulk of the marshmallow part. And that was corn syrup, sugar, and gelatin. And how you would make this marshmallow is first you would need to dissolve gelatin in hot or warm water. So to make gelatin sort of more functional, it has like a thickener, it needs to sort of be hydrated in this warm water. But once that's done, you would add in your corn syrup and your sugar to that gelatin mixture. And this makes quite a sort of a viscous or thick liquid. And this is great because sort of the key to this marshmallowy, fluffy, airy texture is we then whip this viscous sort of syrupy mixture to trap in these tiny, tiny air cells so we get this light and fluffy marshmallow texture. So once we have sort of this marshmallow liquid made, it is sort of pumped through a nozzle that is quickly moving back and forth. And as the marshmallow is dispensed through this nozzle, it actually takes the shape of a peep. So this is where we get sort of this distinct baby chick shape, just by a, no a nozzle, like sort of dispensing this liquid. And after sort of these warm marshmallows are dispensed, they go through um, a sh sort of shower of these colored sugar crystals. So this is where we get the yellow sugar on the outside or the pink, whatever color you buy. And that's because these marshmallows that are in the right shape, they're still sort of warm. So as they go through the shower of sugar crystals, the crystals sort of stick to the outside and make the, the sort of marshmallow take on this yellow color. And the last step, again, is using that carnauba wax to just dot on the two eyes. And from there, peeps would just be packaged and sent out to stores. But the best thing about these marshmallow peeps is sort of playing with this air cell or air bubble size within the marshmallows. All you have to do is add some heat using a microwave and watch these peeps grow. If you want to understand what's happening, we can look at an equation called the ideal gas law. And don't let this equation scare you because we're just going to do sort of a simple change to it. So the ideal gas law is PV equals NRT. If you've taken a general chemistry class, this light might look familiar. So P is pressure and V is volume. And this is equal to N, the amount of the gas, R is just a constant, and T is temperature. So what we are going to do is heat up our peeps, which means we're making the temperature higher. So we're making the right-hand side of the equation larger. And to match this increase, because there's an equal sign, something must happen to the pressure or the volume. And now we're not changing pressure, so what must change? The volume of the peep. What happens when we put these two peeps into the microwave is at the higher temperatures, the air bubbles increase in size and the peep grows bigger. And just for comparison, 
here's the original peep. And you can see there's sad, sad carnauba wax eyes still remain. If you want to turn this into a competition, because everything is better as a competition, you can do peep jousting. All you have to do is pick out your two peeps you want to fight each other. And you give them each a toothpick as their jousting stick or lance. Then within your microwave, face the peeps towards each other. And as they expand, see which peep pokes the opponent with his toothpick first. That's the winning peep. Before this video, you probably knew what a great treat marshmallow peeps are, but maybe you didn't realize how fun it is to pop these guys into the microwave and watch them expand. And the best part is you can explain the science behind those expanding air cells even to a child. I'll see you next time.